Sitting down in this week's one-on-one, rookie cornerback Rashard Robinson. Rashard, I appreciate your time. How has this rookie season gone for you, man? It ain't been going the way how I wanted it to go. Uh, got the losses, but you know, just out here playing ball, you know, that's the blessing at the end of the day. From a personal perspective, what were your goals going into the season and now you felt yourself grow? Uh, really just getting adjusted to the speed of the game. It was kind of tough, you know. Uh, well, I really won't say tough, but the speed just was faster than what I was used to. So just getting adjusted to the speed, that really was the biggest thing. Was there one moment, whether it was in training camp, preseason, or the regular season even, where you said, okay, I can do this, I belong here? Well, well my second preseason game, a dude did a, a comeback, and I just broke on it. And I posed it. It should have been an interception, but I broke it up. And from that point then, I was like, it's not as hard as people try to make it seem or have people make it look on film. You know, it's just all about the way how you prepare yourself. You know, it's always saying the proper preparation prevents poor performance. So you just gotta go out there and prepare yourself. Like, just go out there and just play ball. Okay, that was that was too good of a line. You give that to me one more time. Proper. The proper preparation, preparation prevents, prevents poor, performance. poor performance. Five P's of life. Five P's of life. What was your grind like? How'd you how'd you keep yourself in shape leading up to the draft? I was working out with my uh, good friend. He had uh, Tevin Allen. Uh, we was going to work. You know, sometimes we'd be out there for four or five hours. We just constantly grinding. I'm out there throwing up. You know, trying to get my body back in the shape. It was either I wanted to get to where I wanted to go, or I wanted to stay where I was at. You know, and I just wanted the greater things in life. I wanted to become great because I just seen so many dudes. You know, I grew up with. Patrick Peterson, for one, you know, me and him from the same city, Jabari Price, then you got the other dudes, Tyrone Carter, Al Harris, you know, and I just wanted to be a part of that. Just part of something great and just wanted to start my own legacy. Leading up to the draft, the days going into it, the first two days of the draft, again, I know it wasn't where you wanted to go, but finally seeing your name come up on the screen, getting the phone call, take me through those moments of becoming a San Francisco 49. Actually, I didn't even see my name come up. First, I got the phone call. I was like, who this is calling me from a California number? And I answered, and then, you know, I got my call, and then my name came across the TV, and it was like a, just a whole bunch of stress just let off my shoulders. And I was just, the only thing I couldn't do was just smile. You know, my, I was about to tear up and stuff, but I held it in, but it was a blessing, man. I felt great. Christmas this week. Uh, we play on Christmas Eve, yeah. Christmas Day on Sunday. Got a couple Christmas-related questions for you. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? To be honest, The Grinch. Okay. Yeah, The Grinch. That's one movie I grew up on, so yeah, I like The Grinch. Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Rudolph. How come? Because everybody knows Rudolph. That's, that's Santa Lee uh, Reindeer. What'd you ask Santa for this year? Well, no, I ain't asked Santa for anything, so, you know, I'm, get, I'm the Santa Claus this year, so I had to get some presents. There you go. Two weeks left, man. What, what are the goals for the rest of the season? Is you try to build some momentum for yourself going into the offseason? I want to win these last two games. That's the main thing. And, uh, you know, just building up a, a name for myself. You know, uh, I got a couple good receivers, you know, I'm about to get ready to go against. And just go all out, you know, just lay everything on the line, you know, and just set a, a tone, you know, for next year that. We, we really mean business. You know, we let this year slip away from us, but we're gonna get it right. 